Hey Clint. How are you, Adrian? How are you? All right, man. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very excited to have you. So uh, it's been an honor. It's really a privilege. I'm humbled. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Nia, thank you. Thank you for the lion tattoo. Yes, sir. Are you allowed to speak Afrikaans and English? Both. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've been thinking about a thought this morning about uh, consequences are more important than the seasons. And we've been taught our whole life that uh, if we make a decision, we need to live with that decision. But that's not true. Because we the decision is one moment, yeah. but the consequences, we have to live with it. And I think that if we as individuals start to make, if we want to make better decisions, we need to study the consequences first before we take the decision. And then we need to proceed from there. The reason for saying yeah. that is yeah. some of us in a tough place at the moment, we need to make some hard decisions. And I just want to encourage someone to tell them, study the consequences of that decision and that will enable you to make quality decisions that will enhance the quality of your life. So with that being said, Clint, uh, I'm excited to have you. I'm truly humbled. Been watching you for years on TV, inspired by you, motivated by you. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. So uh, it's a new year, Clint. We all know you from different characters that you play. We know you from musician, songwriter, actor. But who is Clint? How are you and what are you up to? Okay, so if I had to say now, it's, 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 uh, it's quite interesting when you say now that, um, you know, there are seasons, obviously. And if you make choices that you need to stick to those, cho uh, or you make decisions, you have to stick with those decisions. Yes. Uh, and uh, deal with the consequences thereof, you know. But if we, if we think about it this way, and I'll come back to answering the rest of your question now. If we think about it this way, um, summer is not winter, is not spring, is not fall. So if, if your reasoning tells you that it's hot weather outside and I need to go outside and I need to wear a vest and something, you know, to cool down so that I can, I can feel better, you can't apply that same knowledge in a setting when it's winter. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because your reason yes. will tell you that that's not the way to go. You know, it'll, yes. it'll just contradict itself. So I think um, personally for me, I think on, on those levels, we have to just um, look at each decision as, as, as something that's unique, that stands on its own, and what we are trying to achieve and what the outcome is, you know? And I mean... Yes. I, I, I always believe we, we have to take stock. You have to reflect. You have to reassess. Um, and then if there needs to be some reworking, rework the bit and then reapply, you know? Yes. Um, yes. So if you, if you had to ask me when I was 19 years old, we as Clint Brink, I said, I was a lady from the Perl. Wat bij New Orleans senior secundaire school klaargemaakt, het gematriculeerd, yes. wat uh, um, uh, aspiring actor is en wat yes. zij ouders wil trots maken en zijn gemeenschap wil uplift en yes. uh, hopelijk weer al die goeie dinge een naam maak voor homself in die bedrijf en in die kunst waarvoor hy lief is. Yes. But if you ask me that question now that I'm a 40 year old man I would say Clint Brink is um, someone who just wants to make an impact and touch people's lives and through the knowledge that I've acquired and the experiences that I've been through, hopefully yes. share that with people and, um, and maybe that knowledge can either encourage, empower and uplift them. Yeah, so I would say my focus is more now in... Uh, in the winning souls department, if I can say it, if I can call it. Awesome. That, you know? awesome. <laughs> yeah, so obviously you had to make some tough decisions to get where you are today, Clint. I've been thinking back 
uh, one of the reasons I had a tough time making decisions is I was blaming everyone else for my circumstances. Uh, I didn't want to to acknowledge that I made some mistakes. And uh, uh, I'm from sleeping in the graveyard, from begging money. It was tough. It was tough. It was very tough. But the eye opener for me and one of the important lessons I've learned during that time was before you expect others to support you, support yourself. Before you expect others to love you, love yourself. Before you expect others to accept you, accept yourself. And that was the, the breakthrough for me to come to that point. It sounds simple, but that was the breakthrough for me. And that was the starting point for me to make decisions to, 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 to become where I am today. And I'm no, nowhere near I want to be. I'm not close even. But I'm no longer where I used to be. And I'm focused at the moment. And people like you, people that, that, that has aspirations, that are motivated. I mean, you grew up, Clint, what were your shortcomings growing up? Mine were, I had a very low self-esteem. I, I didn't love myself. I didn't, ex I didn't, I couldn't accept myself. I had questions to, I had questions to God. I had questions uh, with my family, but that was a tough time for me. Now I'm happy. I love myself. I don't want to be someone else. I came to that place where I'm comfortable with who I am. That was my shortcoming growing up. What were yours? Well, you know, um, you know uh, first, if I have to put it like this, also, Aileen, you know, I, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying now and, um, do you know that there are so many people out there who are spiritually still sleeping in a graveyard? Yes. Who are spiritually inside of themselves who are begging for things, you know? Whether it's attention, whether it's affirmation, um, you know, whether, whether it's, 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 it's just um, they're dealing with their, their, their themselves on a level that they don't they haven't really come face to face with themselves like that and sometimes yes. i don't even think sometimes i think the manifestations of what happens in our waking life what we can see you know is what somewhere inside of us we are calling for those things without us knowing and then it happens True. and when it presents True. itself because we haven't we haven't really gotten to the point where we have uh, 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 identified who we really are. When those things approach us in our life, then we want to reject it. Yes. Say that no, no, no. Di kan nie van my visie, di kan nie ek visie. Maar daar is iets in in elke ding wat daar kom om vir jou of oor jou liewe te wees of iets wat jy moet leer oor jouself. And yes. those are the things that you need to overcome so that you can get to the next level. Now, when people, when we have a tendency to look at other people and say, I want to have what they have, what we think they have, what we then unconsciously forget is that <laughs> as, as individual as your fingerprint is, that's as individual as you were made. So whatever is designed for you, in your life is designed for you in your life so that yes. you can become a better you. That's, that's what life is designed like, you know? And uh, we, we become so distracted. My brother always said to me, he always said to me, there's a saying that they say, hold your eyes on the other people to support you. You know? <laughs> and, and, and the thing, and the thing about that is, you see, once you start rejecting yourself and want to adopt what other people are doing, you're just prolonging your own suffering, actually. Because the lessons and the, and the life that we live, God knew who you were before you were formed. He knew yes. exactly what was designed for you, and he designed it in such a way that it will create a better you if you endure it and if you persevere and if you overcome it. True. Now, the rest of life, as <laughs> also for other men to take and also compare what also he had with all the good that the other men said, what also done doing is, it actually starts 
it starts messing up your focus for what you need to yes. do with your mission. Yes. You have in it the mission. You know, you yes. have a message. You have an individual message that you need to go deliver. Sometimes I think of it like this. I think that, um, you know, uh, God is, God, obviously God is God, but then all of us, he, he, he puts a message deep inside you and we are the messages. We have to go and deliver that message. Yes. So wherever you have to travel to and whoever you have to meet along the way, you have to go deliver that message. And it's not going to be True. an easy thing. So I, I would say for me, um, growing up, some of the shortcomings, I think I had a bunch of them and I had lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the yellow is the play was what's the light of school? <laughs> oh. So, and, 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 and and what's the 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 the, the, the challenge from that is no one knew. Everybody thought we were happy and everybody looked at us as if we did not have any challenges. But in the meantime, we had that inner struggle, yeah. that confusion, that, that we want to be accepted. But we, 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 came, we, we basically pretend to be fine, yeah. but we were not. Yeah, but I think it's also, you know, that's something that also has to do with us as a people, as a community. As brain man, so dias niggas are doing what it's a generational thing that's been coming on for a long time, you know, dealing yes. with an identity, not just identity as a people. No, is it not an identity? But not an identity. But if you see how you pray, we as it. I mean, yes. That's so man from us. As us, now we see how we compare with the demographics from how many other type of men are there in South Africa. You know, as mm. as as brown people, there's not a lot of us, ne? No, really, we don't know the clay with DNA. It's straight out of and DNA. It's so clear, and the and DNA won't die. And the flitz and DNA won't die. Then there's in there's like there's inner inner fighting, ne? Where we become. Us, us, yes, yes, us, yes, yes. Us, us, he happy, but we, us, us, he as men, sir. Yes. And uh, and those are the things that you need to overcome. You know, for me, uh, fortunately. I had the type of constitution where I always, I always just wanted to make a success out of something. Did, was didn't matter to me how bad it was. I was yeah. Like, okay. I see it as a challenge, you know. And um, I think the thing that the Lord blessed me with as well is, I never really thought that I was any more special than anyone else. I can not much myself more than others. In fact, I can. Baie minder van myself bedink en my talente. And that kept me hungry enough to want to always improve. Ek het nooit achterhoog gesit in myself en sê, alright, ek is die beste in die ding. Even though I had success in the arts, you know, met die I State Fits wat ek gedoen het, daar door nationale toneelspeel competitie en moving forward in, the, in my acting career, I was, I was blessed to have the type of breakthrough that I had, but... Now that I'm older, I realize that breakthrough was not for me to just uh, 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 come back home and, and pat myself on the back and say, "You okay, take it to market." You know, we have we have people so that they can feel so that they can feel enlightened and empowered and inspired to fight their own battles the best way that they can. Yeah, Glenn, you make me think of a. Uh... Uh, a lot of things like we 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 sometimes forget that people have the same challenges as us, uh, and I think it's based on assumption, and we don't realize that our assumption is based is not based on truth. Our comparison that we make towards other people, we compare our lives continually, sometimes unknowingly, we compare our lives with other people. But our comparison is not based on truth. Our comparison is based on assumptions. And and sometimes we even ask questions. God, why is certain things happening for that person? Why is it not happening for me? I mean, this is the type of questions that I grew up with. So it's important for me mm. to for people to share and be open about their personal struggles that they had growing up, because a lot of people can relate to that. So, Clint, did you knew from the start that you gonna be an actor? Did you knew this? Obviously, things happen along the way that you did not expect to happen. But did you knew you wanted to be an actor, songwriter? How did it start for you? So, I was, 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 I
Ik kan die camera en ik kijk die twee en mijn paas staan langs en mijn. Ik zeg voor mijn pointen naar die TV. Toen zeg ik, ik ga die dag daar doen. Toen zeg ik, wat is dit? Toen zeg ik, daar. Ik ga daar wees waar hulle is. Toen zeg ik, my hoe? Toen zeg ik, ik weet niet, maar ik ga zoen toe. Daar is waar toe ik ga. Yes. Het begin van mij die dingen, so my introduction to the arts happened like, like any other, I would say, colored guy out there, you know. Zij gaat nativity play to eerste, zij is of Yusuf, of zij is een engel, of zij is een <laughs> boom, of een club, of whatever. <laughs> and, and that was my eerste, um, that was my first taste of obviously being in front of people and having an audience and a, like a prepared show. And then for that, when I went to To, when I went to school, uh, Polish Uber Premier, to begin ik nou, my eerste, my eerste, sap A, to, to nie meek deel in die huis steekvits, en my ma was okay. onderwijser is by Polish Uber Premier, en natuurlijk cool. by as, as steekvits doen, sy moest nou eerste, uh, sy doen moest nou a, a poetry en sikke goed, en, yes. ek onthou, ek was besef om my eerste, <laughs> my eerste poem en al dat goed, sam met my ma, ter die huis, Proosa, en oh. <laughs> onthou, ek is, ek is vijf jaar oud, tyd, tyd, ek is bezig om die ding oor en oor te reis, en ek haak vast, en ek haak vast, en ek hou toe op, en ek my maas stop toe, onmiddellik, en my maas sê vir my, kijkie, as die dieren gaan doen, dan doen sy dit of recht, of sy doen dit glat, die. moet nie my tyd, of jou tyd moor sê, besluit nou, ja. en, daai, Die ding was een baie groot wake-up call vir my, ek het onmiddellik, ek het my trane afgevee, ek was frustrated, my trane afgevee, ek het weer oorgedoen, en toe jaar na jaar het ek nou, my toekennings was goud, 80%, 85%, 90%, 90%, oh, so mag het hy een 99 plus procent, vir alles waarin ek deel geneem het. En, awesome. die het ten minste vir my, een opportunity gegee om te sien, dat ok, ek, ek het die talent in die siekere alle, En die ander yes. van sport en soos die, omdat ek moest nog vroeg school toe was, was het een bykie moeilik vir my. As ouwers wat toe hier drie jaar ouwer as ek was in my klas, yes. en hulle het vanniger as ek develop, en hulle het natuurlijke gifts gehad wat, wat ek hier die tijd gehad het, wat eerst na die tijd ontwikkel het vir yes. my. Maar, die het vir my een kaanse gee om iets te sien. Nou toe ek klaar met my triek is, en ek moet een besluit maak oor waan toe ek gaan en wat ek gaan doen, en ek kyk alles rond in my, en ek sien ek is in die perel, en ek weet vir een feit, ek het, ek het die een mentor of iets gehad, die daar is nog nie een groot echte wat ek kan gaan, die as my onderse pleer gevat het, wat my kan gesê het, listen here, this is the way yes. to do it, this is how you make money, becoming an actor, this is how you need to look at your financial aspect when you go into the arts, this is yes. how you chop an identity out for yourself as an artist, I never had that, I had to go in and find out for myself, maar, toe ek my community kyk, en ek kyk hoe dinge in ons huis gegaan het, en ek kyk dinge in ons familie, het ek gesien, daar is nood. Yes. So ek moet nou een plan maak, en yes. wat ek, ek nou besluit, moet ek dwars die vat, en ek moet confident wees, want ek kan nie net hier so poetsies hang nie. You know? Yes. I need to now start becoming someone that is contributing to the betterment of not just my home situation, but also my family, my community, and my society, you know. Um, and, and ek moet dankbaar wees my ouders as, as mense, they were hardworking, are still hardworking parents, um, they have, uh, you know, were politically affiliated, they were yes. people who did well for the community, they're still um, contributing the, to the community and their society, so they were the examples that I looked at and said, okay, harde werk, gee om vir mense, be someone that does the right thing, and give back yes. to people, so they were the examples for me, en, vir baie mense, wat die daai het, wanneer hulle groot word, die, is die jy baie moeiliker, because, who do you look at, you know, where do you draw your strength, and your inspiration, and your knowledge from, and this is why it's important, for not only parents, but brothers, sisters, cousins, um, Al die mense in ons gemeenskap, you don't only need to look at celebrities and sports people and politicians or people that have money to be True. role models. Everyone True. should be a role model, want sy weet nie wie kijk op na jou te nie. 
Die lijkt niet yeah. op onder in die straat. Het misschien niet een paar half een maand nie. En hulle familie sê, yeah. dit is misschien niet great nie. Hulle het misschien niet goede finances nie. Maar hulle meet vir jou elke dag. Hulle sien vir jou misschien raak drie keer in die week. En yeah. the way that we interact with people around us. And what we get them and what they feel from us. Is something way in the take with them when they go home. So, yes. if, if we can... It is all of our responsibility. In fact, I think that's probably one of the biggest things while we are, while we have been given life. We've been given life so that we can become the best versions of ourselves, so that we yes. inspire and ignite people around us to be the exact same, so that everyone can have a beautiful experience of what living is like. So, Clon, I mean, what price did you pay to get where you are today? I mean, people look at you today, they admire you, they see you on TV, but what price did you pay? Yeah, I paid a, I paid a hefty price, you know. Um, I mean, I had, to leave the, I had to leave the home at a very early age. And um, as it so as, I was now in Joburg from 2002. I live here, yeah. I work here, I came to Joburg. I didn't know anyone here. I slept on people's floors. Um, wow. for months before I was able to get on my feet, you know, and all the cards that was clear and my sack on my tooth to mark and the aunt on my um, sick to mark, it was all right. And um, I could have myself and say, Okay, this is the phase, man. Hmm. Yeah, the over errands will come in leave and would verstand that they had errands, errands of a poor has a mood sack for your sack. They had much for your sack. True, I was kind of a very good, I was kind of a very sorry, I think I feel it's easy. Doen ek ons maar die op Instagram live. Sorry, ouwens, I'm only human. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah. They say, ook hier is vir my nie, my bro. I'm kidding. So, the price that I had to pay was, the price that I had to pay was, um, you know, wanting to better myself and also looking at the situation, the political and economical, social uh, situation back then, you know. For iemand om eight a brain from me and scrap it to come and, and iemand to raak wat kom sê absolutified, but say mense soort van en net kan represent en sê, here's yes. a face, here is something yes. that looks like you, that comes out of the neighborhood that you come out of, that is working hard, that's struggling, if this guy can do it, a brave, a brave, misschien a, a B or a C student was. Yes. A O wat die, a O wat die uit a triple story, a is uitkom, of een ouwe wat die uit, uit, uit de plek uitkom, wat daar net geld was, wat ze kan kry en net doen wat ze wil. As die man het kan gedoen, het die man wat by Pik en Pai gekees word, die man wat nightship gewek het by Perel Post, die man wat 33 rand in Navik gemaakt het, toe hy by Pieter Sjelle is gewek het, as een barback, om sy eie kaartjes te betaal, net om voor en toe beweeg, die Sjelle beras is wat sy is. As yes. die braad kan doen, dan het hy nie een rede om het nie te wil doen nie. True. You know? True. So the price that I had to pay at the end of the day was, you know, I'm, I'm far away from my family. Here in Joburg, it's just my wife and I. We don't have family members here. Um, we, we don't see our family a lot because all the work is mostly so the other people are working. But on holidays, we're still working. Um, yes. Every now and again, when, when the work comes in and it's over a weekend and you have to work over a weekend because we don't get many quits, you know, don't get unemployment fund, you don't get pension, um, and these are things that you have to work for and save up for on the rainy days when there isn't work for you. So, True. I didn't have the social life that other people had because I was like, if I don't work, I don't eat. Yes. You know, I have to make decisions that are not nice decisions because no one likes discipline. Discipline was never meant to be nice. Yes. But if I don't, if I don't enforce those rules and I don't have that structure in my life, then I can't live the type of life that I envision for myself. And I True. think it's more important for me to make sure that I fulfill my destiny and I get to where I need to go. Because if I don't do it, there's a lot of other people that depend on me and that depend on everyone else. Actually, you know, you have to fulfill your destiny. You must. Yes. You know, Claude, I've been thinking about... That God wants to save, and there are people that God wants to touch through your story, through your struggle, through your victory and your achievements, through your struggle. Yes. So it's not just about us, you know? Yeah. The picture is bigger than that. There's a saying that 
some do it for the picture and some do it for the bigger picture clan you know i've been thinking about these days that we currently living it's no longer you you can go to university you can go and study that's good we need to go and study but we need to also move away from certification and move to education self education because some of the things that we've been taught it's lies and and some of the things are true but it's not true in our generation and the day and era we live in now so we need to go for certification it's good to have a certificate listen i i have a degree in business economics or whatever but we also need to have self education so that we can have a mindset business skills uh discipline all those characteristics that they do not teach us at the universities or colleges so you obviously had to do that for you to go and and be what you are today the sacrifices that you make clan how did you last year we all had this big uh and i believe you also had this big uh we were excited about 2020 uh we didn't knew about covid coming it affected us all it's still affecting us how did you deal with it and what were some of the lessons that you learned from that experience up till now um as ek nou eerlik met jou moet wees is um die covid ding vir my was het het ek reërig op 'n baie diep leen analiseer vir myself ek het dit net gevat op die vlak dat okay there's there's a world pandemic happen and um you know ek 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 het gefokus op 'n paar ander goed wat vir my nog as uitgestaan het and um you, you know uh, my wife and I we are christians we love the lord um that's where our strength comes from he is our source and as a man sura na kyk biblically wanneer daar enige groot goed in die bybel gebeur het you know when when god either made a covenant with people or um or with someone it always involved involved the size you know and anything that yeah. happened sacrificially a sacrifice was always came in the form of blood of iemand het iets geslag you know or offering true en ek kon dou ek het vir vir 'n lang tyd het ek baie my vrou sal getuig het ek baie gesê yo kan ek nie met 'n vry kry nie man ek weet nou al Maandag tot maandag vir 21 jaar aan mekaar 7 tot 7 yes. is ek is moeg daar man ek wil net 'n bietsie kan kan ek net die week kan ek net die nie weekie en nog steeds betaal word ek wil net by die huis sit <laughs> Toe gebeur 2020 we were forced in our production amidst the pandemic still decided to cover um to cover us and look after us the uh, the production nice. and the cast members and stuff like that and to die gebeur to skrik ek baie baie groot want wow. vir my om daai ding wat ek nou al jare voor gesê het ek wil hê kan ek dit miskien vir 'n maand of vir 2 maande net by die huis sit en 'n bietjie met kop skoon kry net relax yeah. to kry ek opportunity om by die huis te sit en reërig net te sit ek was yeah. nog financially we've been blessed and really been I'm so grateful for that you know when as baie ander mense wat die so gehad het die true maar die ding wat my die meeste uitgestaan het is dat for me to have that privilege other people paid with their lives and died for me gesê puta die Here is bizar om saam met mense te communicate op die tyd you know he's he's true. shaking things he's showing us that the things that we rely on is not as safe as we think it is you know True. our governments our our uh, uh, medical structures our True. economic structures it's showing us that there's a lot of things that are failing us in the natural sense you know and um i know that these types of conversations it's not everyone's cup of tea yeah for oh it's a a idea and so a experience yeah. about the us um but i do my best to not just on a physical level i i i try my best to also uh be aware of the spiritual and the fact that there are other things happening that's bigger than the physical yes. lives that we're living right now so covid for me was it is for me by a mere confirmation and clarity gebring oor goed is wat ek moet doen en wat belangrik is yes. i found that you know who 
what we are has fallen away and who we are yes. is being called forward. Your True. humanity. Amazing. Your, you know, your kindness, your compassion, your perseverance, yes. your endurance, your faith, your commitment, your dedication, the amount of love you have, the capacity that you have to endure. Character is being called forward now. And character yes. is, is can only, can really actually only be formed and understood when you go through hardship. Yeah. I haven't met anyone that has a great character that has only had good things happen to them their entire life. True. You know? In as a man, I was someone who said when I was younger, I was always that if anything in life, I want to have a full experience of life. A full mm. experience. Now, yes. if you want, a full experience doesn't mean alles gaan net reg gaan saam met jou. En sê so gaan kry wat dit. That's not a full experience. A full experience you will be able to know what it's like to be the guy at the top and the guy at the bottom one day. You're going to know Amazing. what it's like to win and you know and you're going to know what it's like to lose. That's having a full experience because then you have a whole list a big perspective of what life is really about. In the way times when other men is a foot step and to step so when other yes. people struggle you know it because you've been there and you feel it so you can either pray for them or you can help them you can go out there and you can be a part of their betterment you know either in spirit mm. or physically. So covid for me yeah. as as much as it's 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 yo it's, it's it's devastating the world right now you know. Um all I do all I do my best is to recognize the fact if there's one thing that's for sure is that all of us will our lives will end here on this earth one day you know the day we don't know how we don't know will happen but eventually we are all headed for that for that destination and uh i i live my life in such a way that i have peace every day that is awesome. success for me not money not accolades not a pat on the back none of those things if i can live my life and have peace about who i am and the way that i apply myself in my life that for me is success at the end of the day and um i focus on those things so when the day comes that i have to meet her i'm not fearful of when i need to go or where i go it's an because, you know, place to be my focus is my focus is on him That's an amazing place to be at to be at a place where you no longer fear him in the sense that we were taught to fear him you know you have peace with him he loves you you love him and that you always his son and that is for you and is never against you that is such an amazing place to be uh clint to conclude um any word of encouragement for those who have aspirations out there they want to make something of their life they have limited resources they may be faced this, this they may be have the same uh, shortcomings and 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 limited resources that you had it doesn't mean they necessarily want to become an actor they just want to make something of their life they hold they have goals they have visions what can you tell them any word of encouragement to them you know this is such a cliche and it's been said over and over by so many people but i can tell you this now don't ever ever give up never you must have a spirit of overcoming because that's what we have so yeah. your struggle is big you overcome it little by little stepy for stepy inch by inch you know and that's how you make sure because a couple of centimeters becomes becomes a foot and then it becomes 10 feet and then raak it a paar meter and that's how you start gaining ground you start gaining territory and yes all you need to do is just make sure that you put one foot in front of the other because one foot in front of the other is also progress and progress will move you forward to your to your uh, for you to achieve your goals and stuff like that we are living in a world now where information is all around us all you need to do is just stop and ask or look a little bit harder you don't need to have a lot to be able to produce a lot i am definitely proof of that i never had awesome. the best i never had a lot but what i did was ek kom mense af en sê as ek net die een kans het om ek krijg die kans om die een ding te doen gaan ek sieke maar ek doen die een ding 
ordentelik en kruid, so dat ek cool. wie die een ding staan, so solid op homself, that when people look at it, they want to say, who made this thing? I want to speak to that guy, you know? You don't have to have a lot of it. Just make sure that you don't waste your opportunities. You must have respect for yourself. Have respect for others because when you have respect for yourself, you will do everything that it entails for you to get to your success. They saw more than yourself that you will speak well about yourself. You will, the, as I know, in past, you know, and I think my mother also told me to say, when I buy it, it's a mask that the big key was it, like, out of food. So I had always made a spoon for me because I bought the house to start it. You know? I didn't have to have a lot, but the little that I had, I made sure that it looked great. And those awesome. are the things that I, that I apply in my life still today, you know? When I go on set today, I don't take it for granted that I've been on it for years on end. Because today is today. Today might be my last day. So how I approach today is, it's, it's going to say everything about who I am. Amidst my personal difficulties or all of those other difficulties. And those are things that can't be taught in a university. Those are things that can't be taught. Those are not things that you get a certificate for. That's what life right. gives you a certificate for, you know? Those are school of hard knocks. And die as good man can do, like these platforms, us talking to each other and sharing this information with people who need it. That's how we encourage and that's how we build. But all it, it starts with just having a conversation and being open and honest and sharing these things, the real things that matter. Yes, yes. True, Clint. So, so the in conclusion is use what you have to get what you want. Don't wait for resources. Don't wait for support. Use what you have and get you don't and to need, get what you, you want. You don't need permission to be great. You don't need permission to make a success out of yourself. You don't have to yeah. ask anyone for that. You just have to go yes. out there and believe that you are successful and that your dream is valid and that it deserves to manifest in your life. And then you go out there and then you believe that every day over and over and over and over and over and you apply yourself over and over and over and over and over to the dung dust. <laughs> That's the way to go. Clint, for myself, thank you so much for availing yourself. It's always refreshing and thought-provoking to speak to you. Uh, your humbleness, it says a lot about your character. I appreciate it there. Um, I believe sharing this video on other platforms will inspire people. People will reach out to you. People will reach out to me. Thank you for being a person's person, a people's person. I really appreciate that. In conclusion, I just want to say uh, for those people that listened and tuned in and those people that will listen to the video, support yourself first before you expect others to support you. Love yourself first before you expect others to love you. And accept yourself first before you accept, expect others to uh, accept you. Thank you, Clint, so much. We really, really appreciate you. Have a blessed evening. Thank you, Adrian, man. God bless you and all the best for 2021. I know it's going to be an amazing year. Thank you. Bless you. Bye. Ciao, boss. Ciao.